Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. So today, I told Sam, I'm trying to be quiet. Put the ducks out and see if they'll all follow each other because we have the new duck. She didn't come out. She's screaming her head off in the coop. But look, the other two are right here waiting for her. There's, ducks are such good creatures. Come on, little baby. Where are you? Come here. Come this way. Look. She's not the smartest. She's really not the smartest. There you go. There you go. There. All right, where's the other girl? All right, there she is. No, listen, you stay with him because he is such a good duck. Like, I can't get over him. He's such a babysitter. I don't think that duck was ever that baby. I don't think she was ever free ranged. I don't think she understands. But look! So, the other, first little girl that we had, Waffles, is trying to keep the other girl away from him. She's like, that's my man. So hopefully everything goes good. The chickens will target that little duck. I don't want to get too close uh, because she's new, but I think like waffles and there, I think Toad, the white duck, will really teach her. Like she's saying, he's saying, follow me, follow me. What a good boy he is. And she's doing good. So if he's doing school, she's not able to watch. Oh, I'm so proud of them. Like, if you sit and watch animals for any length of time, you'll see, like, so many amazing things. Like, he's being brave and telling the other chickens to move to protect her. See, the chickens will target her because she's new. But she just stays right with him. I don't know why Sam has all this netting stuff, all this fencing stuff. Like, the ducks can get caught in it. Anyway, they want to go in underneath there. Oh, this is where it gets dicey. I don't think that's a good idea. Because she shouldn't go over there. Because those chickens are going to hurt her. It's okay. It's, you're okay. You're okay. Dude, get back over here and get your babies. Hey, leave that little duck alone. Leave it. Leave it. I'm afraid. This is nerve-wracking. Oh, if only the boy... Like, it's so weird that they all notice that she's new. See, here he is. Holy moly. I'm going to have to sit out here and watch these ducks all day just to make sure nothing bad happens to any of them. It's just that one. See, I thought it would be so easy to add a duck and it is not. And she's just a baby, so it makes it even harder. So I don't like that <laughs> they're all separated because there's, there's safety in numbers, you guys. There's Waffles. Don't leave her. Stay with her. Don't leave her. Oh my god. That's what makes me nervous is when she's all by herself. Now the other duck just went over the other side of the fence too. Now they're together and she's apart. Oh my gosh. How dumb. Crap, I threw her over the fence. She can't fly yet. <laughs> I don't know when they learn these things. <coughs> she kind of landed awkward, but she's okay. She, <coughs> she got <coughs> she got up. She's with the ducks. Let's just hope everything goes okay. I'm going to give it like every 10-minute intervals and come out. I'm making cookies, so I'll come back out in 10 minutes. Check on her. But I don't hear anything, so that's a good sign. I'm just doing a checkup on the ducks, make sure the duck is doing fine, and there they are. They're all in the pool together. 
enjoying the pool. So I, yeah, I need to get him a pond. Still have to finish my turkey hutch here, and I think that's where I'm going to put a pond for the the ducks. Then I'll have to put a water heater in there to keep it warm in the winter time. But yeah, they're enjoying their little pool. All right, so it looks like she's not doing well. She's out here all by herself. <laughs> I just don't want her to get. I just don't want her to get lost. Clearly, she's separated from her friends. I caught her, and she's so cute. I love her. I just want to like cuddle her up. I'm gonna put her back in her pen. Hey, she is safe. This is her home, so I'm gonna just leave her in here. I'm gonna get her some fresh water and leave her in here. So tonight, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this thing open, and when we leave it open, what will happen is it'll make her have to get used to all the chickens and stuff because, oh man, this has not been fun. Yeah, that's what it's like living on the day-by-day -day farm. Super quiet here. <laughs> the coolest thing is that he runs now to me. I filled this pool up today because it's supposed to be sunny and boy is he swimming a lot. He's soaked. But it makes me happy that he actually like runs to me now. Let's see if this guy will let me touch him. He even let Sam touch him now. <laughs> I have the weirdest feeling that posies in heat are coming into heat. But isn't that crazy? Like, look at the rut he made all the way along that fence. He just runs that fence line all day. And it makes me feel bad. Because if he was out and had something to do, I just think he'd be happier. But I can't put him in the other field because I don't want him to be with the baby girl goat. So for now, this is the boy pen. They can go in there. I should open that a little bit more. They can go in there, and then they have this area. Not too bad for some bucks. Not too bad for some boys. Hey, don't try and breed my baby because you're gonna hurt him. You're too big for him. Oh man, these guys are starting to stink. <laughs> So the other problem that we're having is that Sophie and I really want to put Winston in with the girls. We think he'd love being with his mama. I know he would, but this little guy is so attached to him and wants him with him. So I'm hoping that a time is going to come where he grows up and is kind of like more mean and then I'll move Winston. Even Winston kind of stinks now. I think it's because both boys have been like jumping on him. Because he's got nothing to make himself stink. He's really looking for Posey. You looking for Posey? Now I'm thinking that maybe both of them are making that rut into the ground. They're both going up and down there chasing the girls, looking for girls. I know. You just gotta wait three more weeks and you'll be in business again. There's my piggy. Every time I come down here they pee. Somebody pees. We are out to get some snacks this weekend. We have a horse show to go to, so I'd like to get some stuff for that and uh, pick up prescription. I don't know if there's a barbecue there, but we like to bring some sandwiches, like for breakfast, because we get up early in the morning for that. So that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get some of that stuff. All right, we just came out of the Walmart there. And this is what we got, junk food. Junk food, more junk food. Sandwich bread, there's actually sandwich meat in there. Baby carrots, sandwich meat, cookies. Just little simple stuff for the show. Quick and easy, simple stuff. You guys, I just saw something weird in the sky. Can you see it? It's a parachute, it's way over there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a plane parachute. Maybe they're flying. I think they're flying because it's coming this way. I think they're flying. Yep, I hear I hear an engine. I hear an engine. Do you hear an engine? Hear it? Cool. We should get one of those. They'll fly around the yard. Yep, you can hear the engine now. 
<laughs> Is he turning around? It looks like a two seater. I know, I think there's only one person in it. One person just flying around the town. I thought it was a parachute from far away, but it is kind of a parachute. There's another one! Another one! I think they're all coming from that direction. Cool. Look at how beautiful it is out here, you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? The sunset, the chicken coop. Hello, gobbles. Come on out. <coughs> Everybody out. You know what? She's gonna be nameless for a little while until I figure out a name. I love her. Let's call her Sunday. No. Wait, what is that? That is glass. What is it? How the heck did that get in here? Oh shoot, I literally lost the cap to my camera. We're trying to catch waffles. Miss girl, chill. Calm down. There we go. Give her some love. I grabbed, I held our little drip. She's so cute. You poop on me. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Look, she's the tiniest of the tiny. Okay. Toad is from there. I know, so the little ducks have been circling here all night. Oh, she's so dark. She's sweet though. Toad loves I held her girl. a lot today and she just was so sweet. Toad loves his girls. He's really good to his girls, but. He's good to boys too. He likes everyone. I don't know, it's been stressful. I don't know, I put the camera out here for like two seconds today, and then I haven't had the cap. Somebody probably ate it. Once you lose your lens cap to your camera, that's it for your lens, you'll end up having like, <coughs> you end up having scratches and stuff on it. Anyway, it's late. It's I Friday night, we were watching a movie. It was called The Uglies. Have you guys seen it? It was super good. I liked it. Did you like it? <coughs> so it made us late for chores. The camera, I have it on like extra bright. This is what it looks like. Probably like that. That's how dark it is. It's dusk. Anyway, it's late and we're putting everybody to bed, but we're also at a horse show practically all weekend. Oh, Winston, that was a bad choice. There he goes. He's like, let me in. Anyway, most people will be getting ready the night before. Not us. We're last minute Lucy's. We're getting ready in the morning, but we're all gonna sleep in. We all decided. We did all of our shopping that we had to do. Before, before the horse show today, tonight, so that we can all sleep in. Daydreaming is my new middle name. This is not a game for me. Imagining is my new best friend. And red is all I see. I got a PhD. I swear you did that on purpose to lock me out. Ow. It's Friday night. We all want to do what we want to do. Come on, Posey. Come on. Get in your bed. I'll bring you your water. I love sharing our nighttime routine with you guys. We're so fast at it now. Make the right choices, everyone. All right, everyone but Tilly. Always gotta be one troublemaker. Oh, it's because we swapped their stalls up. Because last night they went in the wrong stalls. Well, they were happy. Come on, Tilly. Come on, Gretchy, old girl. I, there's something weird that when I look at her, I see, like, love. Like, I love her. I don't know why. that old. You can walk. But it's kind of neat that she's like. She doesn't like that song. I know. She likes to be the boss and to be mean to people. See? And that's a wrap, you guys. 
I love being in the barn at night. It's the coolest thing. I love living in the country. I love being like away from people. Sometimes I come down here in my pajamas at night, but look. When you do that, there's guaranteed people that are gonna drive by. Oh, I know. Every time I do that, someone stops by. Wait, it's not that light out. It's like this dark right now, but I love it. It's amazing. I can't wait till there's snow. I actually can't believe I said that, that I can't wait for their snow, but I love it when it's like super cozy with Hi. the snow. I don't know if you guys can see the cotton candy skies. Oh, you can. Isn't it gorgeous? So beautiful. And then over there. Wow, look at over there. Yeah, Sophie's like, you see this every day. Why do you care? But it's just gorgeous. Stop and look at it every day, you guys. Like. You want to ride in the dark? Yeah. Well, you're walking in the dark right now. Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I know it's kind of been slow. The girls being back at education. <coughs> the girls being back doing education has really messed up my vlogging, but it has to happen. They need an education. But anyway, get ready for a show weekend because it's we a full weekend? weekend of shows. Are we opening it for you next? No, let them just be there together today. I feel bad for them. Locked them in today? Yeah, just leave them locked in.